We are embarking, walking across the uh, boarding gangway. Today we're in Guatemala. We are in Santo Tomas de Castillo, Guatemala, and our excursion is going to be Los Escobas Discovery. It'll be a walk in the rainforest. Here we are in Los Escobas uh, Preserve. It is a rainforest with a couple nice waterfalls, a couple nice real crystal clear pools that we swam in, uh, nice refreshing cold water. Los Escobas means broom, and the local people here use the ferns that grow in this area to make brooms to sweep with, sweep the floor with. So. It paints still water be there for three, four hours. First, we rode the bus out of Panama City, and we got in dugout canoes for a ride across the lake. It was wet, let me tell you. Early on in the afternoon, we started popping dock lines, breaking dock lines. I think they said four dock lines broke, and it was determined it was not safe to stay at the pier. Good morning. Beautiful sunny day here in the South Pacific. We are approaching Rapa Nui, Easter Island. Land to, we will be going ashore today, hopefully. Rapa Nui is part of the Polynesian island chain, Polynesian Triangle, and uh, so we are excited to go ashore and see the giant moai, the stone heads. And the eyes that are missing, you see, yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. During the restoration, well sadly all the eye has been destroyed before, so they couldn't find it and they couldn't fix it again. All these guys, they are the ancestor of the Polynesian that did arrive here. So, they're always looking inside, inland. The name of this place, it will be called Hangarau Otiariki. So it means the beautiful bay of the king. These guys have been restored in 1978, so actually really late, and before they were covered by sand. Okay, remember all the Mohai, the dude not has legs. It's all so thick under the sex. 
Okay, so the moai that you see, they are placed on the top of the platform. Remember, the platform itself is actually a burial site where you have the hashes and the bones of the ancestor. Here they've had two days of rain, so it's a little nutty, but they put down some walkways for us. So today we're going to take on a journey, our story. We're going to introduce you to uh, the Nawagi culture, how our people lived here for thousands of years. G'day mate. Today we're at the Australian Zoo north of Brisbane in the, the state of Queensland, Australia. This zoo was established by Steve Irwin and his parents. They have done a really great job of setting up natural habitats and natural wildlife together. It's Monday, March 6, coming into Sydney Harbour. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun's just come up. This is the uh, skyline of Sydney.
so yes, as I say, we're gonna go outside to the Queen Victoria Market. Okay, I already been outside yesterday with some of the guests. Cherry tomato, how much is that one? $15. Try, try one of these. Try one. They're amazing. You put them in the oven, you can put them in salad, you can, they're just magnificent. Uh, I need tomatoes. Yeah, do I do have zucchini cherry planted. tomorrow or you want to trust tomorrow? There's trust tomorrow up there. Yesterday, a lot of guests asked me, why do I stop to this shop? The reason here, you check the shop over there, there is salmon. Mostly on the ice, it's a lot of salmon, yeah? Which the price is very high. Morning, uh, huge swells. I would say five to six meters. Maybe not that much, maybe I'm exaggerating, but five to six meters and wind right on the nose, so we were doing a lot of bouncing. The spray was so high, it came completely up to our balcony, so on the sixth deck. So that was, that was pretty impressive, and we were hanging on to the bed. Comparing with other temple, this one is beautiful because it's up in the mountain, the weather is beautiful, it has a holy water in it. So the three important original building was built back to the 1710. Which area of the palace are still left? That building, which we call it Cartagosa. This one, which we call it uh, ballet kambang or you may call it floating pavilion and also the gate so the three important original building was built back to the 1710 selamat pagi pagi ikuten good morning good how are you good Thank you. See you next, next week. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. So we are at the, the butterfly garden and orchid garden. See that little one? Very camouflage. Today we are in Zanzibar, Tanzania, on the Stone Town tour. We saw the fish and the meat 
and the vegetables and tons and tons of spices. And of course, everybody's trying to sell something. It's been raining off and on. It's starting to rain again. The streets were full of water. Just trying to stay as dry as possible. We're going to sail in a dhow, which is a kind of sailing ship here, common in, in Zanzibar. at Durban. Oh. Very lovely looking beach. There are some people out paddle boarding, surfing, swimming. It's a Saturday. Got a huge sand sculpture here on the beach. at the Boulders Penguin Park, Table Mountain National Park, and we are seeing the African penguins here, uh, also known as Humboldt penguins. Looks like some of these are nesting, sitting on eggs. They hunt for fish, usually in groups, kind of waddle when they're on land. So this is Hot Bay in front of us. Hot Bay is spelled H-A-U-T, which means wood, wood okay. bay. So they collected wood here hundreds of years ago. And that's the little harbor, it's also a fishing harbor. Um, and then every so often, uh, we have a big wave competition here where the guys come and surf. Um, it's in our winter time. They surf out at sea, it's called Dungeons. Bay, looking at the flamingos here in this uh, very shallow lagoon. Two different species of flamingos, according to our guide, greater flamingo and lesser flamingo. Today we are on a Sandwich Harbor tour for 4x4. We're just coming into the National Park, uh, the, uh, headed towards the lighthouse.
the church who prosecutes it today, Leah, of all the C1 soldiers, we have done something that we don't get to every day. We have passed zero, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Let's get around the applause for our captain and navigational team. We actually did it. We passed zero, 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 zero today. So, hear ye, hear ye, land lovers of all high and low degree. Today we are here to homage and choose the fire of the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, boo them. They are the polymods of the Seymour Soldier. Let's eat the boo. Boo! Polymods, how will you be? Yes. What do you say, Captain? He gives a thumbs up. Send the kiss to fish. The polymod, the fish man. That's how you see the fish man. Let's go to the fish I think we're going to see fruits and vegetables, probably some produce. We're going to buy our supplies for the meal that we will be cooking later with the Ghanaian chef. Big variety of things. We made, uh, started off with rice that was cooked in a tomato sauce, pretty tasty. We also pan seared a piece of chicken and then finished it off in the oven. the main street, small market, lots of fabrics, the camera, So we are in the produce market in Praia. Um, lots and lots of produce. Our guide said that most of the produce is imported. Oranges are grown here. Some, some vegetables are grown here. Bustling place. So we are at the fort here on Santiago. This fort was built by the Portuguese to defend the island. The original settlement was here, but was moved to Praia later on because they had fresh water there. Today we're on Monte Verde uh, volcano. We drove up to the top, and as you can see, there's some pretty steep cliffs. And the road is sort of plastered on the side of the cliffs. So it was exciting. Uh, it's a it's a rock-based road. It took over a hundred years to build the road up here, so it's all done by hand. This is the Jardin de Cactus. Cesar Manrique's last construction. Mind your step, 
go steady, there's no rush, and we have team members to help you throughout your journey through the cave. Mind your step and enjoy the evening. It's time to welcome you to your World Cruise event, a concert in a cave. This evening we've made our way through these beautiful caves, 6,000 years old these caves are, and we've had the joy of walking through, we made it here, and now time for a fabulous evening of music, put together by our local trio who are all teachers at the Conservatoire of Music here for Lanzarote, so we are in for a special treat tonight. Please put your hands together for your musical trio, Fantasia. <laughs> Worshipper. The power, the main of it, is 205 meters. So they have an, an all look mm. this up there. This is the largest mosque in Morocco um, and the tallest minaret. We are now in the ablution room, the uh, room where they wash up before prayers. No, they should keep it this way. So we are at the shop. The butcher shop that butchers camel. We have some hooves hanging up here, a head, the hump fat. Ladies and gentlemen, please now cast your eyes to the skies, put your hands together as you welcome to the open next your officers, staff, and crew of the Seaborg Soja. We are one big, happy family. I'm literally flying the flag for Seaborn. 